Hey, do you see this ring? This ring is made of an operculum shell that has some strange resemblance to my interest. I love its spirals. Its spiral pattern is a natural representation of the golden ratio, a ratio given by the Fibonacci sequence. This represents the interconnectedness of the nature and all things in the universe. Hi again. I'm Anushka Sharad, pursuing a Bachelor of Science in Astrophysics and Mathematics. I am an honor student and a global scholar at Ohio Wesleyan University in the U.S. Additionally, I am enrolled in Applied Artificial Intelligence Studies online at the International University in Germany. I just wanted to share some of the insights and learnings I've gained throughout my journey from India to America with you. Aristotle said, wonder is the beginning of wisdom. Since kindergarten, the star-filled beauty of the night sky intrigued me. Staying up late into the night, delving into complex math and physics, leads me to say, looking at the starry sky is the beginning of wonder. I was given a book named Tell Me Everything on my 13th birthday. That book was a ray of hope in the darkness of no libraries up to 30 miles. I love reading about how male seahorses become mothers, why a day is a day, four stomachs of cows, and much more. And I was so proud that I'd read the long names of all the dinosaurs in one go. From the opium wars and Russian revolution to plate tectonics and perennial plants, I was most aroused by the section on astronomy as I was baffled about what is beyond. Driven by an unending curiosity to study the universe, I recognized higher education in related fields as the initial step in my journey, deciding in 10th grade to dedicate myself to studying the cosmos, mark the beginning, and this turned out to be the eureka moment when I realized what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. That's when I started exploring universities offering courses in astrophysics, setting up the journey that led me here. During my school years, I balanced academics with various extracurriculars. From competitive exams to martial arts, painting and sketching, I did everything. This exposure played a crucial role in shaping my persona and self-confidence. But, as everyone is aware, the COVID lockdown struck and took its toll, disrupting normal school life. However, that afforded me time to explore my other interests. I utilized this chance to conduct independent research and become more acquainted with topics in my field. That's when my website, SeekinSpace.in, launched. It has been a medium for me to share my knowledge with the world. During high school, I spent my time outside the classroom indulging in a series of events, which included science communication. I delivered a lecture on why study astronomy in Vidya Valley School. I spoke at an event organized by the Astronomy Club of IIC Bangalore for high school students. I also shared insights on AI and its applications at G.H. Raisoni College of Engineering and Management. I also talked about women empowerment and STEM education. I also conducted stargazing night camps for students and children. I've hosted webinars on leadership styles, the world of AI, and much more. I've led some student-run organizations like the Nebula Space Organization, Aura Academic Journal, TechSTEM, etc. I, in turn, at Novar Cedotech Company, Brahmastra Aerospace Systems, and participated in Young Technology Scholars, a summer program organized by the Plakshi University. These experiences resulted in exciting opportunities and increased my involvement with the global science community. This expanded my network, connecting me with individuals from diverse backgrounds. This would ultimately prove pivotal in enhancing my professional exposure and strengthen my college application as I was competing with an international pool of students leading to my university application journey. Knowledge gained through networking and my ability to study independently were immensely helpful during the overwhelming college application process. I spent a few weeks gathering data and researching the potential university. The next 2-3 months were all about undertaking university-specific research, tailoring the applications and writing a ton of essays while managing my academics household responsibilities and extracurricular commitments. Though it was stressful at times, the end result brought ample satisfaction. 
all the hard work and late nights finally began to pay off when I began receiving acceptance letters and scholarship awards from universities one after another. I applied to 28 universities and received acceptance from 12 of them. The scholarship awards were impressive, yet the lack of resources for additional expenses created challenges causing stressful weeks. In April, I decided to attend Ohio Western University for the promising scholarship and esteemed astrophysics program, the Perkins Observatory, and the Nurturing Environment for International Scholars. Although I had enrolled myself in Ohio Western University, the fulfillment of the pending requirements seemed very challenging. Financial constraints were a formidable reality, yet my parents were very supportive and believed in me. Rich for the skies, they would say. It took a lot of patience and tenacity to work through this period and it was a happy ending when I received my US visa and booked the flight tickets. I landed here on the 22nd of July and it's been about 5 months since I've found a new home at Ohio Wesleyan University. Looking back at 2023, I'm grateful for all the lessons I've learned and the wonderful people like you who have supported me throughout my journey. For the gift of the dream, I get to live here each day and the enriching experience of studying here. As I learn something new each day, I'm truly excited to share the knowledge I gained from my academic endeavors. Until then, take care and let's enjoy the next journey around the sun together.